All right, guys, here we go. I've got the reflex mounted up in the 64 mil Futura. Um, you saw the uh, installation video, and there's where she sits. So let's plug it in and give it a try. We got a nice day today, and uh, we'll see how the settings are. So it's only one way to find out. Let it stabilize, flatten level. There it goes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off with gyro off and then um, we'll get it up in the sky and then we'll flick it on and we'll try it and see how the, the settings are. And if we need to modify them, we'll come down in Bluetooth and give it a test. So one last check, everything's going the right way. Looks good. Let's find out. All right, guys, here we go. I got her pointed in the wind. Let's uh, gyros off. We'll get it up there and we'll flick it on and let's see how she feels. So here we go. What really a good airplane. Even on tall grass runway, she's got no problems. This grass is rough. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her trimmed out here real quick, but. Uh, Gyro on now. Okay. Looks like it's bobbling around, doesn't it, to you or not? Seems pretty. Kind of hard to tell. Yeah. There is definitely wind gusting and swirling. Well, that seems good. So, gyro off, stabilized mode. So, this would be your trainer mode. So, there's full aileron, full up elevator. <laughs> won't let you do anything bad so seems like it's tracking pretty flat yeah, it's doing great so again that's stabilized mode which would be like your uh, auto level I call it um, yeah pretty sure my son could fly this no problem so we'll go to gyro off Optimized mode, which is just uh, the servo or the gyros helping you keep it straight and level or uh, to steady, trying to take the bumps out. Let's have a little fun here while we can since everything's working good. <clears throat> but if the gains need to be, needed to be adjusted, guys, you know, you just land, Bluetooth it up like I showed you. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll maybe connect it once we land just so you can see it. But little Futura is a good little bird for flying off grass with that sweet landing gear it has. One minute. It feels locked in and solid. Gyro system. This little 4S bird always surprises me. See if we can stick a nice greasy landing. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, let's go back to the bench and uh, we'll just connect it up Bluetooth just for fun, just to check it. All right guys, so I got the app loaded up here. We'll go ahead, you can see it says connect now. So we'll connect, searching for device, connect. There it is, it's connected. It always says weak signal, I don't know why, but it always works fine. And then um, parameter settings. And then here you go, you can adjust your settings a little lower if you want, if it was, you know, bobbling or if you thought maybe it needed more gains, then once you're done, synchronize and return. So that's it. That's how you do it. And so, those settings felt good to you. It seemed good to me and it was a little bit windy today. So yeah, if it windy. wasn't going to feel good, this would be a day for it. So um, I'll do more testing in the future, but out of the box, I'm pretty stoked with it. 
Um, but you know, this is a model that was in the gyro's memory already. Oh, so, really? Okay. Yeah, because it's got a big list of a bunch of the FMS um, aircraft. So, but if you put it in one that's not, you know, you you may have to tune it a little more than I'm going to have to on this one. But that's how you do it, and it's a cakewalk. Um, just you know, like I said, make sure everything's going the right way. Um, take off in gyro off mode, then turn it on, see what happens. That way you can just come around and land and uh, dial it in. So hope you guys found that useful. Um, don't forget I'm FMS code, save you guys a bunch of money on anything that you buy. And uh, that's going to be a wrap for this one. So for GB Linens RC, John VHRC out. Hey everybody, welcome back to John VHRC. Look what we have today. We have the new Reflex V3 Bluetooth now which is a pretty cool option. Here's the box that it comes in. Obviously came packaged in something else. Here's what you get. So you'll get the unit itself. I happen to have a V2 here. They look pretty much identical to me in dimensions and plugs on the outside and whatnot. So, so that'll be good. Those of you guys that are familiar with the V2 will have no problem with the V3, but that said, Hooking these up are really easy and they work really great. I've uh, transplanted them into other airplanes and it's worked flawlessly. So we're gonna put it in the Futura here, the 64 mil. Make sure you check out the video on that. And links down below in the description to everything that I use in the videos. So here's what you get. You get your cables that you're gonna plug into here and go to your receiver because your plane is gonna plug in, uh, sorry, here, then this is going to go to the receiver. Then you get your mode C. And of course you get a manual. Here you can download the app. We'll be doing that. Operating instructions, hooking things up. And some other things. I'll try to do some screenshots of the app, but um, just off the board here, we're going to just straight up hook it up to the jet and going to hook it up to a receiver. Um, no non gyro receiver because this is going to be our gyro now, right, guys? You'll have your auto leveling and then your assisted mode to take out the bumps. I'm a big gyro fan, um, they don't hurt anything. Contrary to what people say, they don't fly the airplane for you. If you're a trainer, you can use the auto level mode so you don't get in trouble. Or you can use it to bail out if you do. Um, otherwise, standard gyro stuff just smooths out the bumps, makes it fly better once it's tuned properly. And your airplane's just that much funner to fly. So anyways, let me get this installed and we'll be back. Then the inputs from your airplane are going to be here, and they are labeled already. So we just have to find the correct ones in here. So elevator is the second one. Ailerons would be the first one. Make sure you get the, um, whoops, make sure you get it's labeled here so the negatives will all go against the outside, just like a standard receiver or anything of that nature throttle and rudder. So since this aircraft has flaps and other functions, these will go straight to, into the receiver because this doesn't have anything to do with flaps. Now we'll connect up our um, little, ex little receiver. We're going to use the AR620, links down below for that. So these go a little bit different. These are throttle going off memory. Aileron Elevator. Trying not to make a mess of all the cables here, but rudder. And then the switched mode. I'm going to put that on channel. Boy. I'll just put it on channel five, but we can mix that to anything that we want with the iX20. Okay, guys, so I scanned the code. Went, downloaded the FMS app. I'll, um, I'll show all the pictures now of going through the process of connecting it and whatnot. Um, you 
you just turn on your Bluetooth, it'll, it'll find it. And then you can get into there and it has a whole list of models. It does have the 64 mil Futura in there. Um, it has a lot of the FMS birds in there. Uh, but if you got something non-FMS, just pick something close and I'm pretty confident it'll work pretty close for you. But um, that's the beauty of this app is you can get in there and fine tune it. You can adjust the rates and everything at the field, right? You don't have to go home or bring a computer, but. Anyway, the initial password, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you can get in there and um, I've got it mounted. So the ones that come out and go to your receiver go forward or that's how it is set up default. So I just stuck it in that way and it works fine. So you'll see the different lights. So I connected it to my three position switch here. Gyro off, stabilized, optimized. So optimized, you can see the light flashing is just kind of gyro assisted, so to speak. Gyro off. Gyro off is the rapid flash. Stabilized. And on all the time would be the auto level, what they call stabilized. Um, you can see how the surfaces stay over. So as always, double check them, make sure they go the right way. But yeah, so it's installed. I'm just going with the default settings at this point and then we'll um, see how it works from there. So um, yeah, next thing we're gonna do is we'll do a range check because this is a different receiver and um, stuff that I had in it initially. Make sure everything's kosher. We'll take off with the gyro off and flick it on in the air and see how it behaves. You can also go in there and modify the name of the unit, the Bluetooth name, password, um, things like that as well. So it's pretty customizable.